Where am I? Why, you're nowhere but somewhere, my dear. I feel like I'm talking to myself right now. Have I gone mad? I'm afraid so. You're completely bonkers. But I'll tell you a secret. Full of the best people are. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hey guys, how's it going? guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna make ourselves into the Mad Hatter that I dreamed up in my dream and we're gonna bring that into life right now <laughs> so our first step that we're gonna take I've already prepped my skin a couple of hours earlier so that my skin's all prepped and nice and moisturized and has lots of moisture so that it's good. Okay, so ready? Let's go. The first thing we're gonna take is our Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. Because I have a lot of different blemishes on my face, we need this green baby to counteract some of the redness. The redness out of my face. And then you just pop all of that onto your most oily parts of your face. So mine's my T-zone, that's where most of my pores are. Before I go any further, I'm just gonna sort this hair issue out. Next, we're gonna move straight on to corrective concealing. So we are going to use this green concealer from NYX Cosmetics. Think about the color wheel. All the colors that are opposite the specific color you're trying to cover is the color that you use. On one side is the redness, and then on the other side is the green. And so you use the green to counteract the red. Does that make sense? And then you look somewhat crazy like this before you blend it in. Grab some of your foundation. Today I'm using the Total Control Drop Foundation from NYX Cosmetics. This stuff is amazing. You open it up and it comes in a little droppy thing, and then you pretty much just Drop it on your face where you want. After that, we'll grab this one and do the exact same thing. And then you have this lovely menagerie of product on your face. I'm gonna grab this little kabuki brush here and then buff it in. I'm going a bit OTT on my foundation today because I want to have like a completely, completely bare base to work off of. As you can see the difference, cake, no cake. But all those blemishes that I had on my cheek there are now gone because we corrective concealed with, I'll conceal it earlier. Oh, I even got some in my eyebrow. The coverage is really good. It feels really light on your skin. You know those foundations that feel really heavy on your skin when you're wearing it and you can touch it and it's like really sticky and heavy and you feel like if you could just scraped your finger down the side of your face all of the makeup would just come off on your fingernail you know that one yeah this isn't the type of foundation like that I'm taking a bigger kabu kabuki taking a bigger kabuki brush we're just gonna buff that all out okay Next, we're using the NYX Finishing Powder to set our faces. So grabbing your big fluffy brush, take that powder and just dab it on your face. You wanna dab the product on your face instead of dragging it across your face. Therefore, you're keeping all the product that you've already stuck on your face, on your face. Don't forget your neck. Next, we're gonna do the eyes and we're taking the NYX HD Eyeshadow Base and popping that all on our eyelids. It's like primer for your eyelids, pretty much. Once I've done that, I'm just going in with my setting powder again and dabbing that on my eyelid just to set that eyeshadow base. Taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush with your NYX White Eyeshadow in whipped cream and we're just gonna place that all over the lid also. 
because we're working with quite colourful, vibrant colours today, the whiter the base that you work off, the better the colour payoff is for your eyeshadows. So the transition colour that we are using today is this pink one called Cupcake from NYX Cosmetics. Looks a bit like that. And we're just taking it on the same fluffy brush and blending it into our crease. So you're just focusing that colour solely on the crease there, deepening it up. Once we've done that, we're just taking a smaller fluffy eyeshadow brush and going into this NYX Avant Pop palette and taking that pink eyeshadow there. Focus this colour in the same area you did with your transition colour. We're going to go in with a more denser fluffy brush. Let's mix it up a little bit and take the blush palette, Sweet Cheeks <laughs> blush palette, and we are going to take this beautiful pink colour right here. We're going to focus this one in right on the outer corner of our eyes, in the crease, like the outer V. The less product, the better. You want to build your colour up. Making sure that you go back in with your bigger blending brush every time and blend out those harsh lines. Doesn't matter if it still has a little bit of product from your transition colour, kind of helps it blend in a little bit better. I'm going to go in with just a smaller little blending brush. Take that deep pink colour again and just deepen up that crease more. I'm going to try this eyeshadow colour called Bad Seed. Taking this small little blending brush again. Tap off the excess and this colour is just going in the outer V here. Just to deepen that up. You know the bizzo. You guys know the dizzelio. Right, we're going to mix this up a little bit, grab that Avant Pop palette again and go into the purple colour. Take that on your blending fluffy brush and just add that into the crease there. We want more colour kind of popping through. I'm taking that pink colour again from what we started off with and just adding that into my bottom lash line. Taking that pink blushy colour again and just adding that on your bottom lash line too. Go back in, blend it out. Next we're going to take our NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and draw on the inner corners of your eye there and just kind of take it up into your eye there and blend that in with your finger. Just grabbing a flat shader brush like this, quite a small one, but I'm going to go in with that yellow colour right there. And we're just going right in the inner corner there with the yellow. Wow, that colour payoff is really nice actually. <laughs> going back into that blush palette again, taking that pink colour and putting it back into your eye just to blend out the two colours. Taking this NYX Roll On Shimmer in Move Pink. And we're just going to pop that right on our eyelids there. Going back in with this eyeshadow called Bad Seed, taking that on your smaller little blending brush again. And we're just going to build up that outer V area a little bit more, bring the intensity of the yellow down a little bit more. Going back in with your setting spray. So I'm just taking this tiny little fine paintbrush here. And I'm going to go in with this liquid suede colour called Sway. And we're not going to use the lipstick as a lipstick, we're going to use it on the eyes. So pop that product on the tip of that brush there. And then we are going to line our eyes with the lip product. I'm not quite liking how light this purple is, so we'll go in with the darker shade. So this was the original one I used, and this is the darker shade. 
and we'll see if that one works a little bit better. We're going to go back into that yellow colour and we're just going to add the yellow to the, the inner corners. Next we're moving on to lashes. I'm taking this lash primer. I've never tried it so I thought I'd give it a go. Taking this NYX Cosmetics More to Love Mascara and placing that on your eyelashes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this white liquid liner and I'm just going to put a little bit more detail into the eye look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a half cut crease starting from your inner corner towards the middle and as it's getting towards the middle I'm just going to fade it out. Because we are doing Mad hatter s nothing's supposed to make sense so I want it to be really odd, really different. Like that. Jumping back into this palette, I'm taking that pink colour and I'm just filling in my eyebrows as I normally would. Next I'm taking this coloured mascara and I'm using the mascara in my eyebrows. So as I'm doing this, I'm brushing my eyebrows upwards. I'm going to go in with this purpley coloured mascara and just add that into the eyebrows too. I'm not too sure what difference it's going to make but we'll see. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Damn girl! Right, I'm going in with these NYX eyelashes in tees and I'm going to put these babies on. Now I'm just going to measure them out to see if they fit on my eye properly and I will cut where needed. Next off we're going to contour, we're using pink to contour with this time round, um, 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 let's go with this one. So just all your normal contour areas, most of my face is going to be covered anyway in lollies, so it's just a light contour. So at the moment I'm using this brush, using the pink blush to contour my nose. Moving on to the fun part, we are going to stick a whole confetti of lollies on the side of my face. So I've got a whole bunch of things, stickers obviously because I don't want to stick a whole heap of real lollies on my face, little star sequins, little pink sequins, and then I have these miniature wafer daisy flowers um, I'm going to stick on there too. I'm going to just place everything randomly, everywhere, all over my face, wherever I feel like I want to place it. So it's starting with these little pearls and it's going to go all the way down my neck. So I'm moving on to this one here, lots of little different hearts and these ones are pretty much supposed to resemble lollies. Lolly confetti. Lolly everywhere. Lolly life. So these are what the wafer daisies look like. You can actually eat them. I'm going to use my spirit gum. Make sure you dab that spirit gum with your finger before you place your thing on your face to get it tacky. Like so. I feel like those are too obnoxious. Right, I don't like the big ones, so I'm opting in for the smaller ones. So taking the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, I'm just tightlining my lower lash line. 
just to kind of open up your eyes a little bit. I'm using this matte lip liner in pink lust. Taking the exact same colour in the liquid suede. So I'm just taking the white eyeliner and dotting some dots on my eyes just to add a little bit more detail. Taking a fan brush and some finishing spray. Then get your Strobe of Genius highlighting palette. Taking the purple highlighting colour and we're just going to place that on our highlights. Be really extravagant with it you want to shine. I'm just going to grab that pink colour and contour a little bit more. And making sure that you bring that contour down onto your neck also. I'm just going to go in with this suede colour here and go over top of my lips a little bit. So one last thing, I'm going to take the white eyeliner and I'm going to place the white eyeliner on my face to kind of make me look like I'm shiny. Sorry, I'm using a reference photo. So we're going to start off with... and put that into my eyebrows too. Complete with the makeup, spray some finishing spray. I'm gonna get into my costume and I will be right 